I work for the Urban Water Division uh, of the National Civil Engineering Laboratory, LANEC, in Portugal, which is a problem-driven applied research organization. So we work a lot with utilities, we have a lot of collaborative projects with the utilities that are a combination of uh, research, consultancy, capacity building, and uh, from these projects there are a lot of uh, results that are relevant for IWA Strategic Asset Management Group and the other way around. We, I used to say that Portugal is a kind of uh, pilot in itself. We are a small country, we are a kind of uh, prototype or a laboratory because we have private, we have uh, mixed, we have PPP, we have water only, we have water and wastewater, well, we have a little bit of everything. And the water sector in Portugal has a major challenge, a change, uh, evolution during the past 20 years. So there's really a lot to learn with our success stories and our failures as well. Well, it, it's really a pleasure for me to be part of the Strategic Council of IWA because um, I want to be engaged in um, defining the strategies for the association. I'm engaged in the association since the IWSA time, so since 1988. I am part of the representatives of the, the specialist groups, so which is the more scientific side of the association, so to say. Uh, but the Strategic Asset Management as such is one of the broadest in terms of the area, because we are talking about infrastructure, the urban water infrastructure, so it has to do with the network, has to do with the treatment plans, has to do with understanding the levels of service, has to do with the financing, so it's, it's, a, it's a quite broader in terms of scope. When we talk about urban water services, so water supply, wastewater and stormwater services, we're talking about services that really depend on very expensive and long-lasting infrastructures, assets. So, um, and uh, the current um, practice worldwide is that we are not investing sufficiently in these, uh, these, uh, these infrastructures, so they are losing value, they are really degrading, and it's fundamental to change that in order to be sustainable in terms of the services. Everybody takes for granted that opens the, the, the tap and the water, safe water gets out. And by no means this is granted, I mean, there is a lot of investment. We are talking about um, really ensuring the sustainability of the services uh, in, in the long term. So we need to define where to act, when to act, how to act, in order to ensure that we are going to have the urban water services today, tomorrow, for our children, for our grandchildren. So that's the challenge. We need to maximize the value of our available resources.